We begin tonight with new details on the new Scotland murder. The suspect, Jacob Klein, has been indicted by a grand jury on a second degree murder charge. He's accused of stabbing and killing 35 year old Philip Rabati. News Channel 13 is learning new graphic details from court documents we obtained today. Klein lives in Virginia, but the court papers describe how police placed him here in the capital region the day of the murder and how the family found the victim. Stella Porter continues her coverage of this story. <laughs> Stella, what else have you learned? Well, Mark and Sabrina, documents show how police linked Klein and a car matching the description of a car he rented to the Rabati home around the time of the murder. At 4 and 5, we told you that police immediately zeroed in on the suspect when the victim's wife, Alana Radin, told police her ex-boyfriend, Jacob Klein, sent her a concerning email last year before she married Rabati. Court documents show a man named Jacob Klein rented a white pickup from Enterprise on Central Avenue in Albany two days before Philip Rabati was murdered at his home in New Scotland. The morning of the murder, documents show a license plate matching the one on a vehicle rented to Klein is detected on a plate reader in Albany at 7.31 a.m. Police say the murder took place between 7.37 and 7.55 a.m. We also learned that a neighbor saw a white pickup matching the description of Klein's rent parking in front of the Rabati's home just before the murder. In a statement, the neighbor describes a slim, lean man, about five foot seven or eight, approaching the home dressed in dark clothing and a surgical mask. Klein is five foot eight. The documents detail how later that day at noon, Rabati's wife called 911 when he did not show up to his shift at St. Peter's, where they were both physician assistants. We learned that she arrived at their home with Rabati's father at the same time as police. It was the family who found Rabati bound and murdered. The documents include graphic details about the state Rabati was in and how he was slashed. Out of respect for the victim's family, we are choosing not to include those details. Police say they then went to secure the home and found the sinks in two bathrooms left running, one overflowing and one with blood on the faucet. And we've also been telling you how family and friends are honoring Philip Rabati with a fund at Albany Medical College, his alma mater, where he studied to be a physician assistant. Albany Med tells us the fund is about to hit $50,000, and at that point, it would be endowed forever to help future PAs. If you want to donate, we have a link for you at WNYT.com. In the studio, Stella Porter, News Channel 13, coverage you can trust. Back to you. All right.